Hey, this is Suman Kim, your Austin real estate agent, and welcome to HMART. All right, before we actually get into seeing um, a walkthrough and everything I wanna show you about this particular grocery store, um, you know, there's so many different types of criteria that people look for when they come into um, an area to buy a home, an area, live in an area, obviously proximity to certain school districts, schools, location in downtown, work, all of that is super important. But I'm gonna tell you right now, with the amount of onset of individuals that are coming here, and families that are coming here to Austin, um, all from different backgrounds, cultures, and life, one of the preeminent questions that I'm always getting is, how far is this from, you guessed it, H Mart. If you're wondering what H Mart is, H Mart is essentially a Korean grocery store. H stands for Han Autumn. It's basically in Korean, translate to one arm full of groceries. And um, it's become such a phenomenon as far as this grocery chain in and around the US, a um, lot in California. And now we have certainly a staple location here in Austin, Lake Line area. Um, Avery Ranch, Lake Line area. And so we're gonna show that to you today. I know that's a huge criteria for some of you. I'm telling you right now, for some of you that don't understand, H Mart is essentially as important as what HEB is to others, but in the cultural sense and the Asian food sense, this is an incredibly um, important location for many. Now, if you're returning back to my channel, welcome back. If you're brand new to my channel, I am Suman Kim. I'm an Austin real estate agent here. I'm not only showing homes, talking about real estate, but talking about subjects like this that are so important that I see and hear repeatedly over and over from clients. So I wanna be the one to make sure I help you um, with all of your endeavors and even when it comes to the proximity of this incredible supermarket. Now, H Mart is a phenomenon, not just because of the grocery and what it involves and what they have available, but more than anything else, and I've been in many H Marts in different states, but this one, there's no food court um, quite like this one here that we have in Austin. So let's take a moment and let's go on a tour and let's take a look at the Avery Ranch Lake Line H Mart. Come on. All right, so here we go. What I want to share with you is that when you have an H Mart, you have a lot of complementing businesses that are obviously going to take advantage of the type of customer, the type of desire that people want. So we have a Vietnamese um, sandwich shop. We have a type of Korean fried chicken store. We have an 85 bakery. This is a very popular bakery that often complements um, H Mart. Anytime you see H Mart, you'll tend to see an 85 bakery, which is essentially, it's a sweet bread pastry. Um, it has a French theme to it, but it's really a Korean takeover of a French theme, essentially what 85 degrees is. And here we are, this is the H Mart. Now there's gonna be two entrances to H Mart. This is going to be what they call the market eatery or I like to call the food court. So this will be the food court entrance portion of H Mart. And then as we go down here, yes, this is not a small supermarket. This is rather large. Here we have the entry point for the grocery section um, of H Mart as well. One thing I love about what H Mart does for any community or any area is that it's not just um, a certain type of culture that is going here and looking for the food. It essentially attracts everyone that has a desire for certain foods um, and certain things. But this was a big thing right here. This is Honey Pig. Honey Pig restaurant is essentially a Korean barbecue restaurant, very authentic Korean barbecue restaurant. And this grand opening happened last year. Uh, they have, certainly have a following there. You can find them in other areas, other states as well. Um, I do remember one, uh, a few of them being in Irvine, California, and that one just opened up and it's always really busy. Once again, just taking a look at the size of this particular H Mart. Now keep in mind, there's other things that I'm not showing you here. There's actually a Chinese restaurant. There's also even a Chipotle, a boba store, and a hamburger joint right behind me as, I, as this is being filmed. But let's go on and step into, it says there it's open three to 65 days a year, and they're right, Christmas it'll be open, every holiday it's open. You'll find a lot of advertisements and things out front. Anytime you get into an age pop, but right to the right, we have a tout les jours, which is essentially, again, it's a French term, but it's a Korean takeover of a French pastry. Um, and what you'll find there is you're gonna find different types of um, sweet buttercream being used, red bean being used, different types of kind of a gourmet donut being done. Also a coffee bar there as well. So again, I love how they're always individually packaged. People go crazy over it. They also have a cake or a bakery that can make cakes as well. Um, and that's really popular. There you have a self-care cosmetics, kind of a skincare section. Um, Korea is very much known to be a leader of Korean skincare or skincare lines in general. And there we have 
you know, vendors that are selling products there. Frozen yogurt machine, cotton candy machine, all things tech, some fun gaming situations here, um, getting a little attention to the children here. Uh, and there we have a sushi restaurant. Sushi is obviously a Japanese food, but um, anytime you have this type of customer coming in, they're gonna give you as much selections and options as possible. We have a sushi restaurant right over there. And you can see this is approximately about 1 p.m. in the afternoon, middle of lunchtime. See, it's very crowded. And this is Sogondong, which is basically a tofu and barbecue place. One of the things they're known for are different types of dishes, but one thing is their soft sundubur tofu spicy soup. And right next to it is a very famous, it's called Pax noodles or Pex noodles. And here, this is a Chinese fusion of Korean food. You're gonna find, obviously, your comfort foods like jajangmyeon, which is a black bean noodle. Jampong, which is a spicy seafood. Um, and you also have a sweet and sour pork that is very popular as well. Again, you can see just on a weekday, just how popular it is. You come here on the weekend and it'll be pretty packed. There up front is also a stage. You're gonna see some live music here um, and some live performances in and throughout when they book someone there to entertain. This is Don Chicken, um, and this is essentially, it's a Korean version of fried chicken, you know, using different sauces. Um, and that's a very popular street type of food that you're gonna find in Korea, a Korean culture. And obviously it's a fun food to have, and you know, my kids certainly love it. This is called Kobako Katsu, again, a Japanese type of fusion restaurant, which is very known for um, a fried pork, or also known as um, tonkatsu, or like, pork katsu, and that's gonna be pretty famous. Here we have a kimbap restaurant, which is essentially kind of those rolls that you see using the dry seaweed with rice and different things on the inside. And this is a kind of a, a viral favorite place. This is called OK Dog, which is essentially like oversized uh, mozzarella stick in some ways, you know, different types of flavors in there. Um, and this is where it gets really popular, lots of virality on social media where people are taking bites into this crunchy type of oversized mozzarella type of dog cheese is spreading and of course it is certainly a favorite here in the food court section as well now on the end right here is um you know essentially it's named narrow street and this is probably going to be your most authentic types of soups and stews that you're going to find there but take a look at this i mean inside h mart along the second the next side of this food court you're going to also have a hair salon here and then you're going to have a roll of arcade games as well that you're going to find. Along with arcade games, you're going to be complimented by some stores that have different types of gifts, plush toys, things that you'll... Called... I think it's Dodo, but it sounds like it's Doo Doo. <laughs> That's funny. Here we have a type of spa, again more games, and obviously you know when you come in with a family it's kind of nice to have different distractions where if you have children it's something that they can look forward to. Every time we come here my kids think okay we're going to eat and there's some games to play, uh, but it looks like there's another type of uh, um, a store right there, a retail store for ginseng which is a form of kind of herbal medicine and teas. More games, we've got Jurassic Park. And then here we actually have um, a blinds company, you know, a company that does blinds. They've actually served some of my clients before and that they call this station home right there. Now, as we enter the grocery section of H Mart, um, they always have a really big selection of produce. One of the most popular is right as you enter upon those are Asian pears. If you've never tried Asian pears, they're amongst some of the most crisp and most um, water filled type of fruit that you're gonna have. So definitely check that out. And again, you're gonna have your rice, produce, all of that right in that section when you come on in. And typically most points of entry on H Mart when you go to the grocery is gonna start in a produce section, you know, like your HEB. So just giving you some visuals as I walk through. I'm actually gonna do a little shopping myself, or I did. Well, we got sweet potatoes there. We got different forms of Napa cabbage, different types of lettuce and essentially everything that you would find at any grocery store, but they're gonna have some additional elements, some different radishes and things that you're gonna find. That's all tofu section right there. You got your bean sprouts, and also what is fun is that you got a home section as well. Obviously these aren't just your typical, normal, you know, Target or Ikea dishes. This is all unique things that have been imported, um, you know, from out of overseas, 
different styles and different things that you're gonna, you know, that have become popular within cultural households. Different types of containers, you know, utensils, um, different products. It's always fun. I mean, anything from chopsticks to a fly swatter to a hot stone, you know, cast iron bowling pot, you know, you're gonna find it here along with some toys. So it's fun. It's like its own QVC. And then you can just see how fun and colorful all these aisles are. Now that's a very popular aisle that looks a little crowded. We won't go down there. Looks like this one's a little bit open for us to go down. Let's just take a look. Seasoning, spices, there you have your dry seaweed. A whole section is just dry seaweed, which we like to call in, a Korean, in Korean, kim. And as we come across here, this is all fresh sushi, fresh fish, different types of cuts of sashimi. And again, here we have different types of clams, oysters, crabs, very fresh. You know, there's a whole live seafood section as well. Sushi and sashimi, they even have a pokey, pokey bar where you can pay by the pound or pay by the weight. There we have some more fresh seafood. Again, it's very authentic. You know, you can definitely smell it when you get in here. You feel like you're at a fisherman's wharf or something like that when you come into this section because seafood is a major part of this type of culture and they certainly have a section for it. This is a very popular section as you can imagine. This is the instant ramen section. So this is, was very popular when I was in college because I had very little budget for food and this is probably one of the more cheaper foods. Certainly not the healthiest, but a very popular comfort food um, in this type of culture. All right, speaking of snacks, one of the most fun sections is here is the snack aisle. You know, you got your Pocky, you got your Yan Yans. You're gonna see a Doritos here as well. Um, that's probably one of the more um, non-authentic things that you're gonna find in this store, but hey, it's usually surrounded by things that are much more authentic. You know, a lot of these things, you know, even when you see logos here, like that Kit Kat logo, this is all imported versions um, of that particular product that have been imported from overseas. And again, this is probably the one of the only stores where you're gonna find these unique snacks. Here we have our, our meat aisle. We got fresh meat and frozen meats as well. That's some of your thinly sliced sliced brisket that you can use for like hot pots. Um, and here you have your prugogi, which is your marinated beef, spicy pork, and the, probably the most popular type of meat that you're gonna find in any Korean supermarket is karbi, which is basically short rib. Here we have really essentially the meat section, call it a butcher or whatever, but it's got a section. Um, and then you can also pay by the weight there. Looks like that guy's enjoying some of those goods. And here we have Spam Musabi, you know, we have essentially prepared food. These are essentially um, bento boxes that you can take and just eat right then and there. This is kimbap. This is something my kids love. And it's essentially dry seaweed filled with different vegetables with rice. And this beautiful thing about this area is that this is actually prepared dishes from one of the restaurants out there um, from the food court. So they've allowed some section here where people can actually purchase the food from of the restaurant, purchase it through H Mart, take it home and heat it up themselves. And then can't have H Mart unless you have a massive kimchi section as well. Kimchi is certainly um, one of the more popular dishes of Korea, perhaps the most popular side dish. Um, and essentially spicy radish that's been fermented over time. And anytime you see these small containers, they're essentially small side dishes. You know, we call it panchan, um, and it's different side dishes that just going to complement, you know, any type of meal, usually with rice. No surprise there. And then you have your Hello Kitty. And there's a lot of fun treats here as well. You know, I can't help but say it's so colorful and kids are so attracted to all of that. But that's just the Asian culture in general. You're going to see a lot of the things that pop and are bright and are right there. Again, a little bit more of a close up. That's a kimbap that's being sold in the restaurant that is outside that they make them there daily. Some Korean fried chicken is what they call it. Um, and again, more things that are actually perishable. Those are things that you would have to purchase and almost eat the same day. So I hope this gives you some insight and some look. If you're familiar with H Mart, you certainly don't need me to, to narrate this for you, but you can see that these are items that you will not find 
certainly in the HEB or any other supermarket, making H Mart a unique destination for those that are looking for this type of food. All right, so there you have it. I had so much fun walking through H Mart to show you um, what we can show you when it comes to this particular store. Now, a big announcement here is that we have a second H Mart coming that is going to be located in South Austin. And remember, not just H Mart, anytime you have the staple and institution of what an H Mart is in and around that, you're gonna have many other um, different types of foods, different types of desserts that usually count co-partner with the store like this. And so um, that's really exciting. Obviously, as someone who is Korean myself, when I moved here, um, I, I located, I pin drop H Mart pretty quickly. Um, it's an opportunity for, get, for me to get the foods that I need. Um, the ingredients that I need that I can't find in most supermarkets, but also that food court, man, I'm telling you, um, my mother does not live here. And that's one thing I miss is that, you know, when I needed it, she can cook it for me. Uh, and so when I need that comfort food, when I'm desiring that, when I'm craving that, I can go to that food court, find out what I need, find out and go get that. And it's always been such a fun thing for me. So hopefully that continues. I believe that more of this will continue in and around Austin as we continue to grow and as more people um, choose to move here and build out these um, expanding areas of the city of Austin and the suburbs expanding and surrounding. So that's going to be exciting. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you subscribe to this video. I have so much more coming. That wasn't a home tour. That wasn't real estate, but it's something that has become so important for so many clients. So it's up to me to be able to bring that to you. And so uh, with that said, I will see all of you on the next video. Let's do this.